Hi guys, welcome to make two and a review of LEGO Set 21107. This is the end, the end from the last of the Minecraft Micro World sets from LEGO. It was released in 2014 and came with 440 pieces. Though this series has ended and been overtaken by the minifig scale Minecraft sets from LEGO, you can still get this one. I've seen it online off and on. So this set comes with, as they all do, with these four individual cubes put together with little Technic pins. It has a dragon and it gets four minifigs. These are all identical. So let's take a look at one of them in closer detail now. So here is the Enderman in all its glory. It's a very simple build, just a, a couple of black one by one bricks, a couple of black one by one plates and some 1x2 tiles for arms. I think it captures it really, really well. I love the printing on these eyes. Each of them has exactly the same printing. And the same printing also is on the 1x1 plate used for the dragon. You get those long um, arms. That's just a creepy look. And at this scale, I just think it looks so good. Let's get rid of the Enderman now and take a look at that amazing dragon in the background. I think this dragon is awesome. You can see as we look around, the main body is made of one of those old rocket pieces in black. And really good to see it being used here so effectively. Almost every one of those studs on all the different sides has been filled. I love the ridges on the back, the way they did the tail. These wings are obviously very cool. And at the front, you can see it's the same piece. It's got a bit of, looks a bit like a, a kind of sad puppy, I think with those eyes and this piece right at the front looking like its little, its little nose all wet with the shininess of Lego. The same piece, as I said, that's used in the Enderman. And it comes with this transparent stalk. And you can just see at the bottom there, it's also got little claws here, which is just a spanner piece that fits inside underneath and the transparent pole sticks underneath the other slot. So let's take a look at the set in detail. So as with the other sets in this Micro World series of Minecraft, they all come in four different parts, as I said. You can take these two apart, and that reveals what they're like on the inside, and then you can take these two apart, and these two apart. This gives you your four individual worlds, and you can put them together however you like. Lego does suggest how to do so, but that's up to you. Also, the individual tops of the world can all be taken off, so you can mix and match however you like. Now, <laughs> given it's a pretty flat landscape, uh, that doesn't give you a huge amount of variation, so in that way you're kind of limited. And of course, because each of these sets just has walls on two sides and these pins on two sides, there's a limited number of ways in which you can connect them. Now, each of the four Minecraft micro world sets does have some unique things. The unique build about this one uh, is that, of course, it ha it's open on two of its sides. The others are all completely boxed in on four sides, which gives a bit more variation in how you can put them together. But that is unique, so most of the weight is on these back corners. I think these all look good and nicely textured, as I, they are similarly coloured. The tops are also similar both in colour and you know, landscaping. It comes with six obsidian pillars, each topped with an ender crystal for the dragon. So as the dragon is flying around <laughs> like this, it can rejuvenate from the energy from the ender crystals and you have to take them out in game. And at the end, there's a, a portal that takes you back to the normal realm once you've defeated the dragon. So that, I think it does capture those key elements. You've got the flat earth, not much going on the landscape. This is actually floating. So they've tried to capture the floating island by just you know, having it all go to a point. Uh, so it's just, yeah, there's a single base. And then these really should, I think that these came in clear or white, that maybe clear, that would have been even better to suggest there is just nothing below, possibly even in black. They probably tried things like that and maybe it doesn't look quite so good, but you know, what you see is what you get. There's not much else to it. So I'm going to put this back together and then give you my final thoughts. 
It's not my favourite set. I think that it was as fun to build as the other two that I've done so far, isn't it? It's pretty tedious, but it's nice to get it right. It has that sense of kind of soothing, calming satisfaction that you get from building Lego, even for me if the pieces are very small. I really like the dragon. That was the most fun part of the build. The Endermen are really cool. Uh, they are all, you know, identical. And the set itself is an awful lot of, an awful lot of tan. It's cool to have that much tan. Uh, I like how they've captured most of the elements, but though it's different in some ways from the others, it's also the least interesting. So for me, this isn't as fun to play with. It's kind of cool to display because it's got the, the nice textures done really well between the different tans. Uh, but ultimately, it's a definitely less exciting than the other set, which is really to be expected with the end biome to start with. I'd love to know what you think. Which of the four sets is your favourite? Let me know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel because more LEGO videos are on the way soon. Thanks for watching.